Hey guys, what's up? I am here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Sword Art Online Alicization War of Underworld, or you call Sword Art Online Alicization Season 2, if anything, which is on episode 4. Anyways, this episode right here, we get to know a little bit more about the guy Gabriel, if I remember correctly. And, of course, like, um, I'll get into his backstory first because I think it'll be easier to organize it from there than talking about it in the recap that was shown in the episode. So, let's start with his backstory first, okay? Sorry for, ah, stuttering or mispronouncing in a certain way or having a stupid accent. We have to it that Gabriel as a kid was taught by his father about a soul. And apparently an insect will usually have a soul spread throughout its body or something. And even if you tear off its head, that soul will be somewhat alive through to some point. Eventually, he used to have a friend called Alicia. All of a sudden, he did invite her to some place whatsoever. And let me see here. He ended up killing her, killing her by... Using some kind of sharp tool to pierce into her ear. And then later on he ends up seeing a soul somehow coming out. And he ends up absorbing it. Which I go like, okay, I know this is supposed to be fiction. But this is just, what now? Yeah, call me crazy or not. But if you watch the episode, you know what I'm talking about. But aside from that, yeah, that's his backstory. That's when he got interested. He got interested about souls inside the um inside a woman's body or female body if anything kind of complicated story for me to give it to you guys but that's how i'm going to sum up about gabriel's backstory not to mention let's get into the part where he dives in you know and apparently we have two that he gathers all kinds of beings with him you know like starting from starting in the dark territory that has the chief of the goblins hagashi and then Sisuguag, Chief of the Giants, and then Chief of the Ogres Furger, and then 10th Champion of the Puglius Guild, I Iskan, and then the Head of the Assassins Guild, Fusa, and then, let's see here, Head of the Comments, Re Comments Guild, Rain Girl, Gilo Scobo, and then Chief of the Orcs, Lipilin, and then, like, um, Chancellor of the Dark Mages Guild, D.I. Elio, and then Commander of the Dark Knights Brigade, Vixar O Sh Shasta. And we see to it that um, that he's going to get everyone ready for war in the human territory, which it excites everyone with the exception of Vixar himself, or should I say the, the leader of the Dark Knights Brigade whatsoever. And apparently, um, we see to it that Lipia, that woman, tried to assassinate um, Gabriel in the game, well, in the virtual world, which is... Which I'll get to just a moment, because Gabriel ends up contacting the outside world and let him know that I will contact you again once I get Alice and then we'll get the hell out of here, you know? And we see to it, of course, eventually as um, the episode continues on, of course, we have to it that, um, that Gabriel was close to being assassinated, but apparently it was Lipia that tries to kill him, but eventually after he kills her, he ends up absorbing her soul somehow in the virtual reality and seems to be in ecstasy with it. Or should I say, uh, in ecstasy. I don't know what other word to actually, like, um, put it. Maybe excited or something. Maybe that's another word for it. But aside from that, um, he seems to be interested of, like, the souls of the female body or something, a female female, you know, and ends up having to, like, um, kill her effortlessly, and then, yeah. Not to mention, we also get to see another, um, scene, but before I get into that, I know I've, I am just organizing something, but should Gabriel and his other companion die in the virtual world, they will have to, like, and find a different, un different, character to be such as a grunt or so should they like him die but yeah i know what i'm doing is confusing forgive me on that etc this was before like gabriel killed gabriel killed um lipia well vector if anything you know but aside from that um as the episode continues on of course he gives a warning to everyone else that even if you want to kill me and you want to get some high demanding status whatsoever I understand that but you better know what to pay the price and he ends up showing the head of Lipia and that's when Vexdar 
the Vixdar or something, whatever his name is, um, Vixar ends up being enraged and ends up having to attack his majesty. But apparently one time when he was close to death, he ends up transforming. We see to it that the guy cannot kill, that Vixar cannot kill him because this guy knows nothing of radiance of life or soul or of love, etc. You know, and he ends up apologizing to Lipia and then he dies, you know, etc. So it looks like to me, he seems to be immortal because of that. I don't know what the case may be, but it's really starting to confuse the heck out of me. I'm wondering like, why is this series having way more problems than it has to anyway, you know. I should have realized a long time ago it had major issues. <laughs> but, yeah. Anyways, um... We, this, anyways, there's a post credit scene with Alice having to appear at the gate and ends up looking behind it and realizes that the Dark Army is about to make their move. And preview, and ep next episode is titled like, um, Preparing for War or The Night Before the Battle. So it looks like to me, war is about to begin very soon. So yeah. So this episode right here just shows a little bit of what Gabriel is and why he is to present time and what he's obsessed with and he's continuing his mission along with his companion in the virtual reality of the underworld and of course go find Alice whatsoever and yeah this guy's a psychopath or sociopath whatever you want to call him so yeah <laughs> Don't know what else to give out from here on out, guys. I mean, the guy Gabriel, or whatever that guy's name is, he's controlling the guy Vector. He's crazy. <laughs> so until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out for zero, people. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye.